What's up guys, I Joel here. Uh, first thing I want to say is I'm not a YouTuber, I stream, so this is going to be a little bit different for me. I haven't ever recorded a video like this before, so I'm going to go ahead and give it my best shot. But basically the reasoning about why I'm making this video is I wanted to train Hunter and I got into the whole, I'm looking up on YouTube how to train Hunter as fast as possible, and all of the ways were very click intensive, and if you're like me, You'd rather be training combat or another skill and training hunter is just not what you want to do. So I had been training hunter a couple different ways and I didn't really like it. So I was kind of just scrolling through the calculator one day, the RuneScape skill calculator, to see what would take the least amount because I didn't want to have to click. And I ended up kind of stumbling across the AFK way of doing it. Now I'm betting a lot of people probably do know about this, but for me when I was searching ways to train hunter, I was unable to find the this way until I had already realized this was a way to, like I found it on the calculator how to do it and then I found videos on it but it wasn't like a it wasn't really listed as a training method that people use so we're gonna go ahead and do birdhouses today and I'm going to show you a quick little birdhouse run all right so there are a couple of requirements in order to do a birdhouse run you have to be able to access fossil island which means you need to complete the bone vi voyage quest in order to do that, you also need a dig site and 100 kudos at the Varrock Museum. The Varrock Museum is also important because you have to do the fossils. You have to uncover the different artifacts. And in that, you will find a amulet. And this amulet just looks like a ruby amulet. And you'll have to talk to this guy in the top corner. I can't remember his name. But there's a picture of him. And he will tell you how to enchant it. Once you've enchanted it, that will give you a dig site teleport. The reason this is important is because that dig site teleport can be turned into a fossil island teleport. So on this map, there's a couple important things. You see the Mushroom Meadow and the Verdant Valley. Those two are, are places you need to go before you enchant your, your amulet because you can get the Magic Mushroom teleports to get from birdhouse spot to birdhouse spot. And then once you get those two spots, you can go up to the house on the hill, and you'll use your amulet on the strange machine, and the strange machine will turn it into an amulet that teleports to the dig site. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it would look like. And so I'm at the beginning of Fossil Island, and the only reason I'm at the beginning of Fossil Island, this is a previously recorded clip of me just doing it. The only reason I'm at the beginning is because I just wanted to see, show you what it looks like when you teleport to Fossil Island. So we're starting off on the start of Fossil Island, and then with, this is what it would do if you teleport. So you're going to teleport, and it's going to take you to the house on the hill. And then if you've already taught, like went through these other mushrooms and clicked on them, it'll give you the option to teleport to the other mushrooms. And so I'm going to teleport to this one first. And now I'm going to show you where all the locations for the birdhouses are. So this is the first birdhouse location. It is right next to this port, uh, teleport. There are four here. And so we, all you gotta do is use it, and then you gotta load it with uh, Wild Blood Seed. I use Wild Blood Seed because you only need five and they stack. So you have to have Wild Blood Seed and then the birdhouse that you can use for your level. And then I'm gonna use, it uses five per birdhouse, and I'm gonna use a birdhouse on each one of these little spots, and then five seeds. And so that's two of the four done already. And so now I'm gonna go back to the mushroom. I'm going to teleport to the other two. Now the other two are not quite as close together. The other two are going to have, you're gonna walk just a little bit north to find one of them. And then the other one's a little bit farther of a walk. It's down south. So we're gonna continue this process. So we're going to take down our old one, put up our new one. And as you can see, I believe I'm only level, I just got level 26. And I've only, so I was a pretty low hunter level to begin with, and this is when I first started doing it when I recorded this. Um, it's been two days, and I'm already like level 40-something hunter, and it's been pretty much not playing the game at all, because you have the option, it's pretty much every 50 minutes, this birdhouse fills up, and you can go get max XP by taking it down. It's also a decent, I mean, it's not like a good moneymaker, but you do make money while doing it. Um, the clockwork that you get, are a thousand a piece and then you also can find birds nests and so I've started finding now that I'm at like 40 I start finding a lot more birds nests while I'm doing it and so you just saw me do all four of them at once and so I'm gonna drop what the XP rate is for each birdhouse at the end here 
and that'll kind of just show you per birdhouse how much XP you can earn. And then with that, I mean, it's just check it every 50 minutes. Um, so you could either be doing like a Slayer task and, you know, every now and then go and check them, or you could be like me, and I've kind of just been... Anytime I'm not doing something, I just log on real quick, do my little birdhouse run. It takes a couple minutes, and then I get back off. And, it, you know, you can get a pretty good XP from doing it more frequently, but it's also available to you to not have to do it as much. So hopefully this video helped you guys. This wasn't really meant to be a self-promoting type thing, but if you did like the video, go ahead and like it. Like I said, I'm not really a YouTuber. I actually stream on Twitch. My name is iJolp on Twitch. But that really wasn't the purpose on this. This was the purpose to just help people that are trying to AFK train Hunter that need that stat for whatever reason. And if you're like me, a real quick intensive stat like that just takes a long time and you'd rather be doing something else. So hopefully this video helped you out. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. Anything else, just let me know and I can see if there's anything I do that's different than other people. But I really, like I said, I just kind of stream for fun and I don't really make videos very often. But hopefully this helped you. I appreciate you guys' support for stopping by. Thanks, guys.